And, and then the next, that would leave, because we've talked about this, that the New York teams really control the first two hours of draft night because the Jets have two picks. And by the way, in Mel's mock, he actually has the Jets trading up into the end of round one and, and so thus taking three players mm -hmm. in round one. But that being said, the Jets and the Giants then will have four picks between them, uh, between number four and number 10. You have the Jets taking Kayvon Thibodeau, the defensive end out of Oregon. Tell everybody about him because this scares me to death. I told you this when you and I were talking this morning on Get Up. He's a player that could go one way or the other. And it has just been too much of my history that when Jets take players who could go one way or the other, they always seem to go the other. Let's hope they go one way, which is up. <laughs> hey, let's hope that we break that streak, Greeny. I don't like the, the pessimism here, but uh, Thibodeau may be hearing a lot of this negativity, too, and I like that aspect of a guy coming in with a bit of a chip. Is he perfect? No, he's going to have to be coached. And he doesn't have great bend. Uh, he's not Miles Garrett. He's not even working anywhere close to Garrett. Nobody has ever been Miles Garrett coming off the edge with the bend. He's like that speed. Uh, yeah, back in the old days when you watched uh, you know, the, the guys that were come on those speed skating and all the different how the bend and how low they get. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, to me, I don't think Thibodeau is a guaranteed you know, 10, 12, 15 sack a year guy until the wide array of pass rush moves develops. And maybe he will, maybe he won't. Okay, people say, well, he has other interests. Is he focused enough? We'll see. All of it has to come together. All I know is he's a talented kid. His get off is better than anybody I've seen in a while. Okay, his power is outstanding. He can play inside, outside. He can be versatile. You can move him around. He gets. He's very disruptive inside. So for me, he's going to go greeny. We can debate whether he's a boomer bust or better than that, whatever. But he's going to go by seven. Something could go as high as two or three. He was number one coming out of high school, number one coming into this year. He played after being hurt against Fresno State. He's going to be a guy we're going to be following. And we do it with most of these defensive linemen pretty every year. People people were ripping Miles Garrett. When he was going to go number one, I was battling on a set to defend Miles Garrett, who's going to be the number one pick overall. There you go. Yeah, and, and now he you know, is a guy who looks like he's a perennial MVP or defensive player of the year at least. So I agree with you with that. At number five, you have the Giants taking Iki Aquano, the offensive tackle out of NC State. And candidly, I think I've come to feeling like if he's sitting there at four, that's who I want the Jets to take because he feels like the safest pick in this draft. We all know the history of offensive linemen always being this, you know, the, the safest position, the highest hit rate, all the rest of that. He feels like the safest position in this draft and getting an outstanding offensive tackle, which in this case the Giants would get, putting him in either on the left side or the right side. There's, it doesn't feel to me there's ever a bad time to do that, Mel. Well, it wouldn't be, but you already have Makai Becton. If he's going to be your left tackle and if they feel good about him, Fant on the right side did a good job. You got Vera Tucker, who you made the move to get last year. You got Tomlinson. You need the center. We'll get the Linderbaum and at the end of the first if they were able to make a move to get him. Maybe he could even still be there. We'll see with the short arms. That's why he's dropping. But I think when you look at Iquanu, great player, arguably, you can make an argument he's the best player in this draft. Yep. Certainly no worse than two or three. He can play left tackle, guard, right tackle. He can play anywhere. Even though I thought he was a great left tackle. So why not play him there? But they have Becton. And if they feel good about Becton, then you go a different direction. You try to improve the defense. And then you have the Giants taking Aquanu there. So that works out extremely Perfectly. well for them. Yep. And that brings us to six. And you have Carolina taking Malik Willis, the quarterback, out of Liberty. And basically the two quarterbacks who we expect to go one, two in either order in this draft are Willis and Kenny Pickett um, from Pitt. And... The, the, the reason I was a little surprised you gave Carolina Malik Willis is that it feels to me like the logic of Carolina taking a quarterback in this spot is because they want someone to play immediately, essentially to try and save the coach's job. He feels, not feels, he is, according to all of you guys, not that. That Kenny Pickett is the guy who's much more ready to come in because he's played so much more football, et cetera, that he's the guy who's much more ready. So why Willis over Pickett in the top ten? Why not take the guy that you think could be the best quarterback when we're looking back on this draft two, three, four, five years from now? If people would have done that, maybe they would have taken Josh Allen over some of the quarterbacks that went ahead of him. Maybe they would have taken Justin Herbert over, say, Tua. They, you know, I can go back into time. You could say the most talented quarterbacks have won out. Okay, You go back to Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes when Mitch Trubisky went number two, and they didn't. Okay, They were down the line from where Mitchell Trubisky went. So these mistakes have been made when the talent hasn't won out. Lamar Jackson was the end of the first round that same year. Okay, So, again, I'm going with 
with the talent. I'm going with the high character. I'm going with the guy who wants to be great. Yes, he's not perfect. He's coming out of Liberty, okay, after being at Auburn. Uh, yeah, he needs a little bit of work, maybe a little bit of time. But it, Kenny Pickett's not – this phenomenal quarterback. He's a good quarterback. He's going to be 24. He's got 49 starts, coached by Mark Whipple. I get that, but he's not elite. So you take the guy who could be a, put it with say, a home run or a grand slam over maybe the single or double. How's that, Greeny? No, no, that's right. And um, But the only, I, I agree with you, actually. But in this case, what most people perceive is that the coaching staff is trying desperately to hold on for dear life. And Kenny could, Pickett's going to save their jobs. Okay. Well, uh, you did say that in our meeting is, the other day. Is that Kenny, really is, is Kenny Pickett going to beat out Sam Darnold? Uh, that's the other thing. Sam Darnold's been written off as this joke of a quarterback when he had a bad hand dealt to him with the Jets. He had a bad hand dealt to him in Carolina when McCaffrey got hurt. The offensive line was horrible. We got, they've addressed it already with a center and guard coming in. So, uh, again, Sam's 20. With, you know, he's a young kid. He's still very young, and we're going to kick him to the curb uh, it'll be interesting if he beats out Pickett, right uh, and if he and if Willis was there you would have a different scenario because if Sam's the guy and Willis isn't quite ready then that's fine once Willis is ready maybe Sam turns out to be really good Willis is there to be the guy Pickett's not going to be you think he, uh, you're asking an awful lot green you think Kenny Pickett's going to come in with Carolina and be a better quarterback right away than Sam Darnold is if he is more power to him I think it's asking a lot yeah and Darnold is only like a, not even a full calendar year older than Kenny, Kenny Pickett. Pickett's older yeah. than Jordan Love he is thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus